Good afternoon everybody. My name is Phil Storia and I am the Director of Student Experience and Academic Performance at the Fries and Gallery College. I'm delighted today to be bringing you our Above and, Be Above and Beyond Awards, which has been designed and delivered by our Student Association this year. I think it's probably, before we get into to, to giving out the awards, I think it's just probably important to reflect and recognise why, why we're doing it. I think this year has been undoubtedly probably one of the hardest years of everyone's life, both professionally and personally, and it's been a real challenge for everyone. But I think what's been really impressive and has been great for me to see as a member of staff here has been the togetherness between staff and students, and that's really what has come to the fore. And I think that the awards that we're going to uh, go through today are really to represent that, you know, that, that uh, working between staff and students through a really challenging time and recognising um, the effort and the sacrifice and the innovation and the resilience that we've seen at, uh, with both our staff and our students. So we're delighted that you can join us, uh, either watching it live or you can watch it later on. And without further ado, we'll start going through the awards. So the first award was for Most Fun Online Lecture. So I'm delighted to say that in second place we had Tracy Barr, a beauty lecturer here at the college. And the winner of the most fun online lecture is Nick Popescu, hospitality lecturer. So Nick continued with practical lessons during the lockdown, keeping class morale high and ensuring that everyone could take part by getting ingredients delivered and cooking equipment to their houses. We're just about to watch uh, where we revealed to Nick that he had won this award. I'm actually here... Um, I've came down with Kate um, to award uh, a prize to Nick. Nick? Me? Yes, uh -huh. Nick. You have been voted by the students for this academic session um, for the most fun online lecturer right. in the thank whole you. college. Wow. So I want to congratulate you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm not as uh, very good online doing things online, but yeah, that's, that's really good. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for the fun for, for, for my students. And I think yeah. uh, Tracy Barr was running up. Uh -huh. So you got the. Oh, well, well done, Nick. So, well done. Lovely. Thank you very much. Well done, Nick. The next award is for most supportive student. The runner up is Francesca Sharman, a built environment student. And the winner is. Kirsty McDonald from Creative Industries. Uh, Kirsty was always approachable, willing to go the extra mile for her class, and here is the moment when we revealed Kirsty as the winner. Right, so Kirsty McDonald, you have been given an award. You are really approachable, and through getting answers for your class rep, and always keen to make sure the student voice is heard with other agencies, always willing to attend extra meetings that shape the student journey, and you've been voted most supportive student of Dumfries and Galloway College. So, here Thank is you. your award. <laughs> well done. Well done, Kirsty. The next one is uh, for support staff member going above and beyond. So this one we had a joint second place and that went to Helen Crony, HR officer, and Catherine Rennie, who's one of our educational support workers. But the winner for this award is Sonia Rutter, our performance officer. And here is when Sonia received her award. Hi Sonia. Um, yeah, good. Look, sorry, I'm having to film you just now. You know we have been doing the Student Association Awards. Uh -huh. Could you open up that wee box that's next to you? You should be. <laughs> okay, so you were nominated and won the support staff that's gone above and beyond for this year. No. <laughs> yep. Really? Yep, yep. Well Somebody's done. Somebody's actually nominated me. You got a couple of nominations, so yeah. Wow. I don't actually know what to say. Thank you very no, much. You're welcome. Um, thanks to whoever nominated me as well. Wow, I'm in shock. Well done, Sonia. 
So the next award is for the most inspiring student. Second place, we have Josh Hayes, who's a creative industries student. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of this year's award is Debbie Arnott from our child care department. Debbie has produced some excellent work, always has a kind word or a fun story to tell, continually going above and beyond on her placement, helping staff and taking on areas of responsibility within the nursery and she has now been accepted at university onto her teaching degree. And here is the moment that Debbie found out. Oh, an award oh. for what was, what was the award winner called? of the most inspiring student. Most oh. inspiring oh, student. Oh, that is class. <laughs> That's like the best award to win, isn't it? <laughs> and you've won it. Oh, you've won it. Amazing. So Fiona's going to tell you exactly what was said. Okay. So Debbie, congratulations. Thank you. you have been presented with the winner of the most inspiring student of the year for childhood practice HNC at level seven qualification. What has been said about you, Debbie, is that Debbie has worked her socks off this year and you have produced some excellent work. You have helped your classmates and always has a kind word and a fun story to tell, which is absolutely fantastic. We all love a fun story. Um, you go above and beyond on your placement, helping staff and taking on areas of responsibility in the nursery. You also have been accepted for the university to progress to your teaching degree. Well done, Debbie. Oh, we thank you. But however, we really are both. <laughs> and there's ah, and I'd like to present you with the award. Oh, so excited. For Above and Beyond Award 2021. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Year because of COVID. Yay! Oh, yay. <laughs> thank you so much. You know me, Fever. <laughs> Is that what you'd oh, like, that's that's you'd like to say? It's like you'd like to thank my oh. mum and dad. <laughs> well done, Debbie. The next award is an open award for staff. The runner up uh, was Joe McKellar, who has a number of uh, roles within the college, both in student association and in uh, student support services. But the winner uh, was Paula Haney, beauty lecturer. She embraced the remote delivery in a very practical subject area and researching a range of different tools that she could use to make sure classes were engaged. She started using the platform TikTok and went on to showcase this at a virtual bridge session with Education Scotland. And she's now working with other colleges showing examples how authentic practical evidence can be gathered for assessment using this platform. So well done Paula and here's the moment she found out. The Open Award right, for on, the staff member, and that has been presented to Paula Haney. You have embraced remote delivery and your TikTok, and you've been absolutely <laughs> fab this year. So that is yours Aww, from us. Thanks so much. <laughs> the next award is an Open Award for students. Um, joint runners up but very significant is Jenna McClelland from Health and Social Care, but also all of the students who worked as key workers and supported uh, frontline staff during the pandemic. The winner in this award, however, was Chelsea Johnston. Chelsea is one of our level five students. She was very nervous about entering the World Skills competition, but managed to overcome her own personal anxieties and secured a place in the national qualifiers fantastic achievement. So here's the moment that Chelsea found out. Above and beyond awards with the college and Chelsea was nominated for oh. one, yes, um, for her hard work with the World, world Skills and ultimately your achievement at getting through to the next round. Oh, so there you. we are, well done. Yay. Well done Chelsea and also all the other students who supported fantastic work during the pandemic. The next uh, award is for Outstanding Class Rep. The runner up is Matt Dryden, who's one of our engineering students. Well done Matt. And the winner is one of our hospitality students, Sarah Turner. Sarah has been our class rep in Practical Cookery Level 4 last year and has been a member of the Student Association this year. Sarah always goes above and beyond and then the opinion of staff and peers in the college 
she is able to represent the views of her class and to lecturers, but also to the wider college. So well done, Sarah, and here's the moment that she received her award. Uh, so in second place for lecturing staff who have gone above and beyond is uh, Kerry Galloway, computing lecturer. Uh, however, the winner is Kat Grant. Kat has been a huge support, particularly to a student in her class who didn't feel that they would have been able to cope through the lockdown. Kat has encouraged, given confidence to, easy to talk to, and she's been exceptional at helping students see the positives, making online and remote working through difficult times more bearable. Here is the moment where we revealed to Kat and Sarah that they had both uh, received their award. I have not been truthful to either of you. I am apologising just now. <laughs> so, Sarah, you are our winner of our outstanding class rep. Kat, you have won our lecturing staff that have gone above and beyond. Thank you, folks, for all your great work this year. See if you lift those boxes up. If you lift those boxes up. There we go, that's your trophies. Aww. Great work, thank you. Well thank done. Thank you very much. Thank Just want you. to say anything? Nope. No. Nah, brilliant. No. <laughs> well done to Kat and Sarah for their awards. The next award is for Kindest Student. The runner up is Amy McFarlane, and the winner is Deborah Thompson Hall. Deborah doesn't hesitate to help anyone with anything. She is always so polite and kind to others within the college as well and not just in the hairdressing salon. Deborah doesn't mind recapping something that's been covered by a lecturer either if you perhaps didn't hear correctly or if you had issues that you didn't understand and so she's been particularly supportive to her peers within her class and here is Deborah's reaction. Hi Deborah. You were nominated for our SA Student Association Awards for Kindest Student in the College, and we would like to say congratulations. You've won. So, this is your award to Kat to say congratulations. You were nominated for the awards for the college, so really well done. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done. 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 The runner-up was Angela Connolly, one of our learning and teaching mentors. Well done, Angela. And the winner is Laurie Johnston, one of our hairdressing lecturers. And it has to be noted that Laurie was nominated six times by both staff and students. Laurie has been an amazing lecturer throughout this course and throughout the home learning. She was supportive and made it fun um, to, to learn at home and learn uh, through different methods. Delivering a very practical long hair unit was very challenging during lockdown, but Laurie was creative in her thinking and contacting a private educator who associated with large international companies such as Weller, GHD, and was successful in getting both Dumfries and Stranraer students enrolled onto live training courses hosted through Facebook. This method of delivery introduced the students to the vast amount of online training events available to them and most importantly a very valuable working relationship between college and industry was secured for the future which is critical to our work as a college. So here is Laurie's reaction to receiving her award. Laurie, you have one most inspiring staff member. Oh my god! <laughs> you have been Well done to you both. Yes. Uh, and that wraps up the awards for this year. Um, short and sweet, but I think what's important here is that what the, this event sort of symbolises. I think it was impossible for us to recognise all staff and students across the college. 
that have done and gone above and beyond and we only had so much time but I think what we've done here is started a bit of a trend to recognise the work that staff and students are doing and something we want to move forward. We'd like to thank all staff and students for their work together, all staff within the college for supporting but a particular thank you to our digital services team who without then this award ceremony itself wouldn't have been possible but quite often are maybe forgotten in terms of the year itself and the stresses and the strains of, of digital capacity which they have really stepped up to the plate and supported all of us to, to, to work through this year. So I'd just like to thank everyone for the awards and thank everyone for their, their work throughout this year um, and thank you for coming to, to join in and watch this.